How do you get feel about the war effort? Isn't the bravery of our soldiers worthy of admiration? Yes, father, I smile our soldiers. I think what helps them in their struggle is the knowledge they're fighting for the right cause. That is definitely true. The conquering of space for our people is the necessary thing to do in order to free us from our current predicament of being surrounded by enemies on all sides. I worked on the battlefield for only a short time, but the brotherhood between comrades was so strong, it could take us through anything. Music again starts to play, takes a beer across the screen, the great love. The film begins with two fighter planes flying over a desert. One of them crash land, the ground gaps and the flame curl into the sky. I've never seen such a realistic film. Never, this movie is spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. It's got 3 million of gold marks to make, so it better be. Well, that's a lot of money. I wouldn't act in a second rate film. I believe that. The scene ship. A curtain opens on a clear sky and a woman begins to sing. Dancers dance gratefully in the background after a few moments, an orchestra starts to play. That's me. Where? I can't recognize you. Right there. Well, I'm not there anymore. Don't worry, I think I saw you. I didn't see you, I'm sorry. It's, that is same. That was the only time I saw in the film. You missed your chance. Focus on the movie. We can discuss your performance afterward. Me and Neffa roll, we smile at each other and turn our head toward the street. The singing woman finished her performance. Two men in military uniform are shown applauding in the audience. I let myself go deep into the cinematic fantasy world. After the film, people pour into the lobby. More sparkling white is served, and people flit from group to group, light smile on their face. Wouldn't the last scene great? The one where she watched as our plane fly cold victory. It's so beautiful. She was able to let him go. Just as the minister said. Yes, it truly was a remarkable thing. All the joy and sorrow that constitutes good life. I enjoy it too. But I can't wait anymore. Tell me everything you did in the film, never. Well, it was after just one scene. It was a small part. More importantly, I got to know the director and all the people working in the business. Yes, it's all about the people you know. Remember that when you're planning your career, Basin. Yes, sir, that's good advice. Conquer, look at what? Okay, we better get going. It's getting late. I use the facility, then we'll go home. Never? Yes, father. At Conquer Lee, I can call it Never. Never, it was a great night. I'm just sad that I didn't get to enjoy you on the street more. It was, and don't worry about that. I get bigger roles in the future. I hope so. It'd be quite amazing if you became a movie star. Just watch me. Never set her hand on her waist, push her elbows frontward, and extend her spine. She looked at me intently and slowly started to move. She lied in front of me, turns around, and looked at me over her shoulder. She's grateful, yet there's an animalistic sanctuary in the way she moved herself. She does a quick spin on the floor. The hem of her skirt leaps up a little, but she keeps her eyes fixed on me. I don't think anything going to stop you. I don't think so, either. Never make another spin. I grab her hand and she spins around me. We start to laugh. Nice move, kid. Come start watching it. I immediately jump away from Never. Sir, Never was just show me how she danced in the film. But I said, it's okay that little. Not, not a cry. Never, darling, let's get going. Never stop spinning and offer me her hand. I take it and give a formal, give a, a formal a kiss and I can muster. See you later, Basin. Colonel, Never, it was a pleasure. See you in the factory, sir. Good night, Basin. Conquer and Never walk away. I watch them as they go. This has been a remarkable night. Not unlike dream. My mind jumped back to the strange vision I had, and I pinned myself. It hurt. I looked up to see Neffa and Conquer disappearing into a slick automobile. This is real. I feel light and happy. This was exactly what I needed. I followed Neffa and Conquer queue and head for home myself. A brief breeze welcomed me as I leave the cinema. I take a moment to admire our beautiful city in the evening light. 
Even though it's far away, the huge construction site of the season hall and tram arc were uh, visible. Suddenly, an unpleasant feeling creeped into my consciousness. A feeling of being what? Ah, I say. Out of the corner of my eye, I see something moving behind the big tree next to the cinema building. Playing it cool, I on the floor are the people leaving the cinema. Soon, my back diverts from the ground. I step onto a relatively empty street away from the bright light. The hair on the back of my neck stands, the feeling so strong, there's someone following me. I show my hand to my pocket and take long strides, trying to look as casual as possible. Then, with a warning, I turn around. I swear I can see the flick of some dark fabric disappear behind the corner. I've been to the night, but... Was it really fabric, or just a layer of a distant bush rustling in the wind? I shake my head. I haven't been sleeping enough today. I must still be tired. Why would anyone follow me? I'm a poor kid without father, a man who lived with his mother, I'm not special. Seven slightly, I can't go at home. The excitement would be getting to me. Mom's still sitting at the table when I get home, she's falling asleep in her rocking chair. Her hand covering her chest and if protecting something, I watch her for a few moments before grabbing the blanket and laying it over her. Then I go to sleep. What a weird night. I can hardly believe it really happened. The film was great, little at the middle of the display. Light at it truly is, that is the pinnacle of what cinema can achieve. A basketball filmmaker has proven their skill yet again. I wonder if the minister would also involve the project. He seemed to love that film. He must be a smart man. In Conquer, I don't know why, but he, just, he seemed to like me. I just keep working hard to prove I'm worthy of his fun. And never, I'm going to sit next to her dance with her. She's so beautiful, she moves so elegantly in her scent. Right early next morning, I bike to the factory and enter the assembly hall. Had the same nightmare again, but it was a little different. I think we were actually moving forward. The battle was still fair, but a little we made some progress. Maybe things will start to get better now. As usual, it's buzzing with action, seeing hands, I salute. Good morning. Did you have fun in the movie last night? I heard. The great love is awesome. Yes, the film was right. And can you imagine, the Minister of Public Enlightenment was there and gave a speech. I was sitting there with. Yes, with Colonel Ackerman, his daughter, I know. In fact, it might be huge, but news still travel fast. I may even get a little jealous of you. Oh, no reason for that. It's just a fun evening. Now I'm here to work, sir. Huh, oh yes, today I have a special card for you. Follow me. Without of the assembly hall, what's Han going to show me this card? Every machine we back running smoothly and at full power. The conveyor belt war and people sell and move equipment to supply of metal and gear and transported by the mongered crane. A sort of his my face. Broken metal being pulled into cash. Finally we arrive at another kind of assembly area. Black piece of machinery are uh, stacked along its edge. Passing your Hatch today is to assemble another kind. It's a new model. A pioneering engineer are pretty proud of it. I've been informed a large scale of offensive being planned, and this tank are needed on the front as soon as possible. Be efficient as you can and do not mess around. That is good. Yes, sir. I'll be back here before lunch to help if you're not finished by then. Oh man, I have to get it done before I have to come back. I want to say, look on the fire when I've done it all by myself. The capable pattern fit. What the heck am I doing wrong? I tried to decide the grain in fit of anger. Why is this fit? Bastard, you fool. Don't tell me you have a problem with the capable track again. Just like that, I sit next to me. How does he only manage to pop up in the most inconvenient time? Shut up. I was doing really good job until this piece of crap wouldn't get into place. Aha. Uh -huh. You really are fool, you know that? Anyone with even a bit of spirit with tank could see room. The track as speed. They don't fit into the snot here. You need to get other track. How not am I supposed to get new track all of a sudden? Han be back soon, if not done by then. I'll be humiliated. Well, we can only go to the other hole and get you the right track. 
Really, we can really do that. Yes, we can. But on one condition. Yes, whatever it is, we go to Martin Brunen today. Yes, we go to Martin Brunen and I buy you all the ice cream you can eat. Deal. Follow me. I said I don't recall that lead to the other hall. Thank ammunition waiting for transport in front of the squad room. It's why. Well, not too fast. With that space, you might even beat a snail. You feel quite shock of the circuit, aren't you? Shut up, dog. What is it? Quiet. It's hand with the protection guard officer. Protection guard? The most fierce soldier in the Empire? Quickly, let's hide behind the barrel. Quick, quickly jump behind the barrel, just in time, a time, and guardy. Hold on with the protection guard. Your uniform really fit you quite well. It's amazing that old outfit evolved into this slick design. I like it too. It might affect your mind up and come in close factory in the Western Empire. They do a great job, and the owner is the Vals Boker but No boots are nice, well. Oh, Scarbit, you rock factory, sir, then. I might have to discipline you for that. Ha, I apologize, sir. My attention is really professional. I saw you professional in Kansas, so did not. What's I'm talking about? Never caught by this. Since they have personal relationship, what is protection guard officer doing the factory? I might have an idea, but I'm not sure. Han is so different. Han let's just focus on what we're doing. We make a run for it when we have a chance. Yes, I really don't want to get caught with my pen get out. I just take a path for a look and make but don't say anything. But back to the block of my mansion, we should have a look at the storage room. Yes, let's see what situation is in there. Then to the storage room at the end corner, shutting the door behind them. Rocket immediately erupt inside the storage room. It's our chance, let's go. We get up starting call with the other assembly hall. For some reason, I just can't seem to check the odd feeling that something suspicious would go on with Han and the protection guard officer. The door to the storage room is just a few meters away. Nah, keep running. With that through, making it to the other assembly hall, the weird scene quickly leave my mind and ask secret right down to business. We're here. She ran it to the space proudly, though I can't see why. It looks exactly the same as the hole I work in, complete with brain, machine parts, and caterpillar track. The only difference is a pair of huge doors dominating the far side of the hole. Okay, now we just gonna make the right one and put it on truck. Truck? I don't see a truck here. Oh, you're finding so tired of intelligence. You need to go through the big door and get the truck outside. I operate the crane and get the right caterpillar track. Okay, let's do it. I should go to the crane operator cabin while I run to the locked doors. When I cut on the handle, they barely buck. I just yank with my full strength a few times before the door start moving. Hurry up, I'm out. Done with the track. I got the doors open. Good job. Now get the truck. A truck stand outside right next to the door. I hop in. Cut in my throat and start the truck. I have driven a vehicle only a couple of times and I feel a bit shaky. I drive the truck in dark. I actually already grabbed the cat and builder track, so I have to do it back. Truck underneath it. Then, with the cum and a bit of mature, the job done. I just jump onto the passenger seat and be with me. Let's go. We leave the assembly hall, driving around the factory building, called the assembly hall we left earlier. The timbre right high in the sky. The thick smoke making the factory well seen deep. Beneath the smoke are a group of various signs, as far as the eye can see. Truck. Motorcycle, ammo vehicle, condom automobile race around, echoing through outlet. <coughs> the whole factory area came with light. It reminds me of an Anne Corny, it worker, meticulously and quickly carrying out their tasks. The view resists, however, as we head inside the assembly hall. I jump out of the truck and actually immediately tell me what to do, and if she were giving me order. Best in, kind of snort the track from the truck. I put the smith track in its place. Despite being the same rank, I don't mind, she really seems to know what she's doing. I do the same boss heads. I run to the grand operator cabin and replace the smith track with the snorcher one. Now I just need to get the track in place. Oh, there you go. Good job, I said. I'll cut the truck now before everyone starts to meet it. See you after work. Thank you so much, Ashley. See you after work. Walk to the crane, wiping my forehead. It cooks up the whirlwind to get her ready in time, and it was worth it. She's a beautiful piece. How you get the long basket? I jump. 
I get my hearing is recovering and I have not no idea what's right behind me. But then suddenly a smile flashed over her face, I get to present my treatment to him. Sir, the tank is assembled and ready to go to your father. sir. Hand looks decent. Are you sure? Fully assembled? Yes sir, take a look sir. Hang walk around the hang and inspect it. He looked very closely at the capability of the track and then put the hand on to his chin. Interesting, interesting. I follow his back, delighted to in his reaction. Feel like teasing him a little. Everything okay, sir? Yes, remarkable. You same the tank fully. Perfect job. Congratulations, Bastian. Thank you, sir. We look at the tank together. And I betray his amazement and I join him in celebration. Spooky insane. Look at the slick light of her body. Admit she's wonderful. We call her Uh, Panzer? What in the name of mad is that? This bitch called the Snodger. Oh well, I feel so relaxed now. I don't even find it. Get angry. Why do you feel relaxed, sir? Uh, never mind that. You two report to Colonel Ackman after lunch. Yes, sir. Han walk away, his footsteps echoing through the hall. <laughs> well, that escalate quickly. <coughs> Atric has once again appeared behind me. How does he do that? You good boy. We hug each other a lot. When I read Coca off it, I find his salute before the window staring at the factory pine. I can understand the kindly pulling smoke is mesmerizing. I always feel like I'm interrupting. A similar Bastion revoking, Colonel. Oh, it's you, Bastion. I just a bit bemused. You get a laugh. How did you like yesterday? Sir, it was great. Conrad had called me, hit every moment, radiating authority. His back always straight, chin level, shoulder back, and feet pointing forward. It's impossible to find any insecurity in the way he carried himself. But then, I appreciate your unwavering respect for conduct, but I must entreat you once again to relax. He raised a hand on my shoulder. Did you enjoy last night? Be honest with me, Bastian. Of course, sir. Very much. The movie was great, I think even had a dream all the same. It's so powerful. I have no idea how he did it, but it looks so real. And a mister, what's been? It's you mean the trophy scene where the plane crashed in the desert. I agree the speed. It would fade warm. Very unlikely speed. The minister did play real emotional last night. You know we shouldn't get emotional in the matter of the Empire. Emotional still are vice the bad of righteousness. You knew what the film was about, looking his saw it beforehand? Of course, he the minister of public enlightenment. He had to see all the movies before they go public. Come, let me show you something. Conca led me to the window. Squeezing my shoulder, he gestured to the world outside. Look out there. What do you see? Walker walked around the small patch of land before the assembly hall. A couple of truck ride through the narrow alley, an armored vehicle sparked next to a wall. The factory building stayed like a giant around them. People were working, and some car, the building around us. That's about it. No, give me more detail. Tell me how it makes you feel. Well, people seem to be busy, some more than others. One man just smoking cigar, but the other was just drinking with a cool game. They got stays here and there, they seem beautiful. They're not really doing a thing though, I guess they need to have reason to act. Oh, and there's Cap. No way, going but look like I had planned. Not really looking for anything, just trying to go somewhere. But I don't know, Cap might have different set location and place than we do. Very good. You try well. Let's give me a description. Can you tell me how the scene affects you? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the point, sir. This is an older assembler. Yes, sir. The cat has the same direction, it's clear to go somewhere, but where? I think the cat doesn't know, but it seems better to go and stand still. There are a lot of people, lots of action going around, on around the cat. But the cat doesn't really care. The cat just go. The cat just is. The wall high and people busy. It makes the cat was sitting look almost like a trap. A claustrophobic maze. The sound are loud and wall scenery is in constant motion. But I don't think the cat is stressed or worried. It simply is. I feel, I feel like to be, we would like to be free like that too. I wish to be more than a cat. The cat adds it. Conca can't hold both my children coming back home the room. He had a sincere happy look in his face. Bravo. You have a poet in you, Pascal. 
Thank you. I just follow all that stuff. I appreciate your honesty, son. Great to hear your call. Now, I have a question for you, sir. Why do you think the cat is stressed? Because it walks in a calm manner and is grateful in its posture? Our cat is different from you. That's a good question, sir. I don't know. But I guess I made it something based on the cat look. As I said, it moves gracefully, but I can't know what's going on in its mind. Do you think the same applies to people? Of course not. People like me, they can see what they think. Really? And tell me what the worker walking there are thinking. Uh, I see your boy, sir. Even if a worker is running with cobalt, that doesn't mean he's straight or eager to work. Neither is a and smoker definitely dwelling on calm call. Do you remember anything of the battle you could park in? I don't really remember too much. We were just entering Cologne of territory. The storm captain gave us the order to recon enemy position, and I volunteered. I think we went over looked into the possible enemy position, but I can't remember anything after that. Next thing I know, I'm lying in the hospital bed. That's quite enough. I'm going to ask you another question. I need you to be completely honest with me. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Were you scared? Sir, just be honest about it. I looked down holding back here. Yes, I was scared. I didn't want to be. I thought I wouldn't be. That was the only thing I wanted. To serve my country, to become a war hero, to make my mother proud. Thank you, Bassin. Just one final question. These questions make me nervous. Can I fail in answering them? The other soldier, your comrade, were they scared? I don't know. They all look like they were ready to battle. You don't think you look like that? Oh, I see. I probably think you think they thought I wasn't scared. Mostly the both of them did. Bassin, even the bravest soldier scared. Bravery doesn't mean you don't feel fear. It means acting even though you're afraid. And you won't care. Don't forget that. That would break if you do. You can be proud of yourself. Yes, I understand. That makes sense. There's a saying. Oh, that's great. Stand in the storm. You do not need to yield even if you're scared. Yes, sir. That makes sense. Contra grab both my shoulder. I didn't mean to face him. That said, do not ever let anything stand between you and the final victory. No matter. How things are or seem to be. Remember the ultimate goal. Remember the final victory. Yes, sir. I keep the final victory inside. Even when time are cup. No matter what sacrifice you must, you might have to make. Remember, they are for the most righteous cause, the prosperity and the might, might of the empire. Yes, just like the minister said. Long live the emperor. Long live the emperor. Let Anubis guy away. Yes, you have the right spirit, son. This way, I put it head for the door, so that my hand wrap around the door handle. Conca speak again. One more thing, Baskin. What you did today to get the tank assembled wasn't exactly done by the book, but it got the job done. Just remember, as long as you work for the final victory, your actions are blameless. Yes, sir. You promoted to mechanic. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I salute you, Conca. He not and come back to the window. I close the door sharply behind me. We, I wasn't meant to succeed, but I, so it wasn't another test, but why they tested me? Why weren't they angry I broke the rule? The colonel said everything is following luck, a bit impact on the final victory. Building tank is, I think, always step forward for the final victory, therefore I did the right thing. I guess they see, didn't see that coming, but it wasn't me, at least not me long, I should help. They must have seen that too. What colonel informed, should I be both opinion and resolve when they need? I should see so far, but what if I fail? Will they be so forgiving then? I stepped into the bright sunlight outside the factory. At the same moment, the bell rang where people streamed from the door. I can't ask her standing next to the bike rack and head her way. Hi, Bastin. How are you doing? Well, it's been an interesting day, but I'm great. Absolutely great. We did an amazing job today. We did, but you sound a bit odd to me. Is everything okay? Yes. Everything fine. Are you ready for March and Brunen? Yes, 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 let's go. Get on our bike and start battling. Finally, we're going to March and Brunen. We had a passive house, car, drive by, host and people. It's funny to see how the old and new come together near the city sector. March and Brunen isn't too far from the factory, but we bike slowly so it takes us some time to get there. Over here. 
who live literally through the streets, jogging and biking at the same time, we not in any rush. How the rest of the day? Uh, nothing just exciting. Mostly maintenance and running errands for the light and older of the speed model. Then you hear that they're thinking of using cast iron in engine. It's more reliable than aluminum and make the engine more powerful. No, I did not know that. But what it did today? That was exciting. Yes, it was. I can't believe we managed to pull it out. The same I was supposed to be able to build a snort engine. But we did it anyway. What do you mean you weren't supposed to be able to build it? Oh, I mean, just a cat of the with up the wrong model. We did something out of the ordinary. I guess something we weren't supposed to do. True that we true what we're supposed to do. Who okay cares about that anyway? I just want to be a cool stuff and get the job done. What could possibly be wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with it. Did you have a meeting with Colonel again? Did you say something to put you off balance? Is that a regular meeting? He congratulated me on the good work and gave me a promotion. And I'm a mechanic. What's the rank by the way? Mechanic? You? You've got to be kidding me. You got the same rank I do, but you can't even tell it's not the track for a speed track. This is the job. Huh, not my fault you haven't tried to quickly like I have. I just got her by in front of me, her face red and fierce. You think I'm jealous? That's silly, what you think? I already forgotten who helped you build that tank today. Can you build that without me? Oh, sorry, that's true. I couldn't done it without you. I only caught that by working hard, anyone can treat in the king, I still believe that. Today was just a bit unorthodox, don't you think? I thought it was weird too. I just turned her bike forward and start pedaling again. I follow her. Why was the wrong kind of track then to begin with? Hard ordered park, right? He would never make that kind of mistake. In fact, we certain he worked there for like forever. I think I mean in myself crazy, but I think the wrong track would work there on purpose. To catch me and see how I would act in an expected situation like in a battle. They own way plan when you go into battle. But when the battle starts, they all kind of think they go wrong. The situation changes and you have to adjust. Maybe someone wants to catch me. Maybe. But why would you need that kind of skill in the factory? He's supposed to run exactly the plan for maximum efficiency. And what Han said when he showed me the different factory in the Empire. Each factory has its own custom form and it can perform it even if other factories are doing their job. Like a parallel circuit, you know. I should I waited. He told you about that. They show you any map or anything. They will play the map. All kinds of other cool stuff too, like typewriter and wheel machine, what the heck they do in that office. That's really cool. Maybe you could show me sometime? I can. The door locked and Han had the key. I don't think I'm normally alright to go in there. Han just once showed me the map so I could understand the bigger picture. That's really nice of him. Yes, he's nice to me. As he looked ahead and smile appeared on her face. We're almost there. I can already see the air dump much improving up ahead.